Okay, so let's start by defining the preaction function that we are going to use. It actually exhibits some nice features like constant returns to scale, which basically means that if we multiply uh, its input by some factor, lambda, we will just get that uh, same function, same production function times lambda. In plain words, if we double the uh, the two inputs will just double the output. That's what uh, constant return to scale means. This production function has a positive slope over any level of capital that is a positive first derivative, but uh, there are diminishing marginal returns as uh, we increase the capital level that is the second derivative is uh, negative. So the slope, even though it's positive, is decreasing. So as the inata conditions say, whenever uh, the capital approaches zero, uh, we will get a slope that is almost vertical. And uh, whenever uh, the capital gets really big, uh, then uh, we will have a almost flat slope with the first derivative being equal to zero, or at least tending to zero. We have three kinds of technology, which uh, uh, we call A. We could introduce it on the outside of the production function, just the Higgs form, or we could use Harrod, which is just uh, using effective labor, that is multiplying it by labor, or the solo form, that is um, what we call capital, capital augmenting technology, uh, which will just be introduced like this. But we're going to use the Harrod, that is the uh, labor augmenting technological progress and we want to define an intensive production function that is just we divide uh, every input over effective labor that is we multiply by this so we get this is one and this will be k over effective labor which from now on will be denoted by uh, small k so this function of small k and one is just uh, y over effective labor, which uh, could be, uh, which we're going to call just small y, which is a function of this small k. Remember, capital over effective labor. And that is just the intensive form, which exhibits mar decreasing marginal productivity on the small k right here. So we, if we plot the new intensive production function, it will exhibit positive slopes but diminishing as small k capital over effective labor increases. And now if we defined, uh, if we say that one unit of uh, production given by the production function could either be consumed or invested, and if all that is saved is also invested, we could say that uh, the invest investment is just the saving rate times what we produce, the production function. And we will consume what we produce minus what we'll we invest, which is just equal to 1 minus small s times output. Graphically, that is just uh, uh, this uh, vertical uh, distance is just uh, the savings rate times uh, the production function, which is uh, the actual investment in the economy and the difference between the actual investment and uh, the production function will just be equal to uh, consumption over effective labor. So this is investment and this is consumption.